How does urofaxim hold up in complicated cases? This was a retrospective cohort study involving 251 patients with non-muscular invasive bladder cancer receiving BCG installations after tumor resection. 109 patients were in the urofaxim group. They received the immunotherapy during the BCG treatment. 142 patients were in the non-urofaxim group, and these patients received standard care without immunotherapy. The researchers compared UTI-related antibiotic use, discontinuation of BCG due to infection, and tumour recurrence at one year. Those on urovaxim needed significantly fewer antibiotics during BCG treatment, with a p-value of less than 0.001. BCG discontinuations due to UTI only happened in the non urovaxim group. However, in multivariant analysis, urovaxim did not independently predict reduced recurrence or bacteriorrhea. Strengths include that this is a large, real-world patient group undergoing standard cancer care, there are clinically relevant outcomes, and it addresses an unmet need during BCG treatment. Limitations include that there was no randomization or placebo control and that it was at a single center, so the findings may not generalize widely. Managing infections can be a real barrier to completing bladder cancer therapy. Adding urovaxim appears to reduce UTI-related disruptions, potentially offering a smoother treatment. Urovaxim isn't just for recurrent UTIs. It might help people stay on track with life-saving cancer treatment. It's a smart intersection of infection prevention and oncological care that deserves attention. If you like this no-nonsense breakdown of papers, follow us for everything UTI and pelvic health.